Hey, welcome to another episode of Man Cave Munchies. Today we're going to do Cajun Cook-Off. So if you like New Orleans cuisine, stay tuned. In fact, what we're going to start with is kind of like the end. We're going to kind of let the, uh, the uh, tail wag the dog today because I'm going to show you how to make traditional New Orleans bread pudding. Mmm, mmm, good. And to do the bread pudding, of course, you've got to get a lot of this. I mean, this is basically what I do is I put a bag in my freezer and over time, the little bits of the bread that you don't use, you cut them up, you put them in cubes, you leave them in there, and then what you want to do before you actually start doing the mix, what you want to do is you want to let the breadcrumbs dry out for three days, okay? So let's get down to basics here, and we're going to start off with four eggs. Now, if you don't have one of these fancy-dancy tabletop mixers, you can always do it using a traditional hand mixer, but you've got to mix these things up for a while. So we're going to let the eggs mix until the bubbles are about the size of the pinhead. So we'll see in about three minutes. All right, there you have it. Now to that, what you're going to add is you're going to add three cups of milk. Good, 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 good. You're going to add, a well actually it's a half a stick, because it's technically a quarter cup of melted butter. We're also going to add a teaspoon and a half of ground nutmeg. You're going to add about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of cinnamon. And you'll notice why I did this in the right order so we don't get the get it wet. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to kick this bad boy on again for about another 30 seconds or so. I just want to mix it all up. There you have it. Now, before we start mixing this up, okay, that, that was a, basically a recipe for about six cups. So I'm going to actually measure the amount of bread because if you put too much bread in it, then the pudding is not going to take. Also, you're going to want to take a cup of raisins and you want to put it right into the wet ingredients. And you're going to want to let that sit for maybe 5-10 minutes or so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your bread and you want to put it into your, your baking dish. Because the important thing is that you're going to want to let it soak up all of the juice. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more on there. Like I said, you should have a little extra on the side here. And again, you want to let these things get good and dry. They should be almost hard by the time you start working with them. Because that's what's going to make them absorb the custard. Then once you get your custard done, all you have to do is take the custard out and we're going to pour it right on here and then you have to let it sit for at least 45 minutes. All right, and what you want to do, and this is the part you're going to like, you kind of want to you know, move around a little bit, make sure every now and then that you get your hands in there just a little bit work it all in because you want this to absorb the pudding mixture evenly. When it's done, this will all, all this liquid will disappear and all you're going to have is the bread pudding and then we're going to actually bake that and I'll show you how to make, we're going to make Chantilly cream to go on top and be a very unique take on, on one of the New Orleans standby recipes, bread pudding. So hang in there and we'll be right back. <laughs> 